Konnichiwa, it's Stars here, and welcome to part two of me showing my entire LPS collection. Today, we are going to be doing the other creatures. So, as you can see, it has bunnies and bees and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, without further ado, let's get into so, it. So, first off, we are going to start with the, the bunnies. So, we have this blue bunny. This blue bunny was also part of my, like, initial collection. This one came from the mall playset, I'm pretty sure. Um, I will leave, like, the playsets that these, uh, pets belong to in the bottom. So we have this bunny. I really like the pink and the blue and the purple together. Love this tail. Cotton candy tail. I think that is super cute. Again, this is a simple pet, but it is still very, very cute. Right, next bunny in the same mold is this bunny, and something is wrong with her neck. Ma'am, are you okay? Miss, your head's not moving. Are you authentic? Girl, don't make me, don't make me customize you. But yeah, this one has a neck problem. I, what? <gasps> don't break it, please don't break it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, this one has two different colored ears. I love that. I like how the hair matches the ear. She's got a little bit of paint on her. I'm really concerned whether or not this is authentic or not. Any authenticators here? Hello? Focus. Camera. iPhone. Hello? Never mind. Forget it. But yeah, I wonder if this is authentic or not. If anyone can let me know because I'm I'm sure her head bobbled before she's just being stubborn all right uh last bunny within that same mold is this one and her head moves unlike somebody uh I love the eye color with the white that is so pretty another basic bunny and because it's white you can see how dirty it really is I am so sorry I will make sure that all my pets get a proper bath um don't don't dunk your pets in water because it'll rust inside. Thanks. Um, but yeah, I will give them a good scrubbing. So another basic colored pet, but still really cute. Right. Next we have um, kind of floppy, might be a loppy. I'm not sure. <laughs> Above the eyeshadow, this one's so cute. So now this one's wiggling too much. I don't understand what's happening with these pets. I'm sorry. They're being weird. This one has gray, gray and white. It's a little bland. It, the only thing that makes up for it is the uh, eyeshadow and the eyes. Like, that's it. Other than that, it's still really... Um, don't start. Don't start. Don't start. Stay. Behave. Next one in the same mold is this. This one. I like this. Whatever, like, generation of pets this is. I don't know if this is, like, really G2, like, compared to this one. Because these have more painted on eyes. And these have more, like, bigger glossy eyes. I prefer these. Truthfully. Oh. Don't start. Stay. But this one's like a pale pink. I don't know if you can really tell because the lighting is, is not that good. And then it has like peach colored hair and a tail. Of course, it's all dirty. We have, might be a loppy because it looks a little floppy. This one, I love this one. This one is so cute. It has, um, it, it's giving me carrot vibes because of the hair and the streaks in the hair and here on the chest and it has polka dots on it. What? It has polka dots, I didn't even notice that. And the eye, the eye shape is really um, unique as well. Please focus on the pet. Okay, or don't, you don't have to, it's okay. And I love the eyelashes, that's super cute also. Next we have um, baby bunnies. So first baby bunny we have is this one. Now I'm not sure if these are like triplets or not. I know they're not triplets to each other, but they might be triplets from like different sets. 
So we have this one. I love the white here. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. All right, and then we have this one. This one has the two different colors as well. Oh, it's so dirty. I'm so sorry, guys. The light pink, the dark pink, and then the light pink. And like the feet are the dark pink along with the belly. Super cute. And then the last one is this one. This one looks a little constipated. I won't lie to you guys. But I love the pointies. It's super cute. And the orange, like the yellowy mustardy color is back again. And then the last rabbit we have is this on Angora, Angora, I don't know if I'm saying it right. This is the only one I have. I would like to get more of these. Hopefully when they, um, uh, when the pets come out in 24 and maybe possibly, you know, 25, they will have more of these because I would love to get more of these without having to hand over my life savings to a eBay seller. <laughs> So, you know, she's got spots, but it looks so detailed, like all the fluff and the fur. And I love the stripes inside the ears. That is so cute. Now we have some bees. There's only two, sadly. So we have this distinguished gentleman right here. And then we have this fine lady. So what I think is interesting is that this one also has the the thing, the flower going around its eye like the cat did in last episode. Um, if you haven't seen last episode, it is on my feed. And this one also has clear wings. And it looks like it has honey in its butt. <laughs> I like, I prefer this one. Look, and the bottom is even clear too. I think I prefer this one. This one over this one. Next we have chinchillas we only have two. Oh, i dropped them so we have this coffee colored chinchilla stars describes every light brown and medium brown pet as coffee colored but yeah, no it, it's coffee colored you can fight me in the comments about that don't fight me in the comments please <laughs> i love again i love the detail the detailing on the tail that is super cute I love how big the ears are. They're so cute. I would like to get more chinchillas. Honestly, they're underrated, and I hope that we get more underrated pets in Generation 7 or whatever we're in, the new 24 pets. So next up, we have this postcard pet chinchilla. I love postcard pets and any pets that have like any extra coloring on here. I'm, I want to collect all of the postcard pets and all of the pets that have the fancy design but that is going to be a very long list and it's going to cost me a lot of money with the way that these um gen 2 pet prices are on like makari and ebay so i might not even bother but this authentic one's cute <laughs> I love that it just goes all over the body and all over the tail. I love the colors. It's so cute. Please, please, please bring back the postcard pets. Please, they're so cute. Or at least, or at least do more designs, basic fun. Like, please do more designs like this. We would love to see that. This and more underrated pets and more of the core four. So that way it's accessible. Hey, maybe may, maybe you could maybe you could even like reproduce some of like the the packs that had the popular pets in it. Like um LPS number six seven five, which is a dachshund, and it's very hard to come by because she was the main character in a very popular uh, LPS YouTube series, and people are selling her for over a hundred dollars, and that's ridiculous. But you didn't hear that from me. You did not hear that from the stars. Anyway, moving on, we have some horses. Now, I say horses and do this because we actually have we're starting off with two zebras. So first zebra we have is this one. I don't remember where I got this one from. 
if it's like super scuffed and dirty i'm just gonna say i got it from the flea market or something so we have this one i don't remember what set she came from again i'm gonna do research on every single pet here and put it at the bottom so yeah i love the zebras they're so cute i need more i would like to have i would like to have more and maybe more in the newer generation as well and then next zebra we have is this classic colored zebra um this one has a more of like an airbrush the pink and the black it's really pretty but i prefer this zebra uh, next, we have the horses. Now, there's two different types of horse ones. You have ones with the saddle and ones with... Ah, dropping things. You have one with the saddle and one without the saddle. Um, I only have one with the saddle. Is this pretty girl? I don't know what the flowers mean in the eyes. I'm sorry. I'm like the fakest LPS fan ever. But... She's super cute. Oh, she even has a flower on her chest. Can you guys see that? Mm. Behave, cooperate. I'll probably post a picture later on Instagram. All right, now we have three horses that are the um, without the saddle mold. Uh, starting with this one. This one was also part of that initial um, start co starting collection i think this one was also part of the mall set i think a majority of my pets i got was from that gigantic mall set but here she is super cute i love the blue eyes that is so adorable not much to say pretty basic um the colors are nice right. though next we have this one now this one i'm a little upset because she has this weird scuff in her eye and the eyes are so pretty they're snowflake eyes and i think that's really adorable i wonder what accessories she came with because i think it's gonna be snow based obviously but like i'm thinking maybe there were ice skates or something i don't know if i find a picture of the play set i'll put it on the screen and the final horse we have is this chocolate chocolate girl um i don't have any stallions i just found out that there are stallions and it's not exclusive to the newer generation that's coming so i don't know i kind of want to get a stallion before the new generation comes i don't know my wish list just keeps getting bigger and bigger uh, i love the airbrushed white here that is super cute another chocolate horse chocolate horse okay uh don't don't stop it stay uh next up we have three seahorses we have this one i like the colors on this one it's so pretty i actually love seahorses like they're so stinking cute stay all right next we have this one who looks like she is plotting something She's, she's she's plotting something. I don't know what it is, but y'all better watch out. Yeah, the, side, the funny thing is the side view for the seahorses are like fine, but if you look straight on, oh my gosh. So yeah, I love the dots. I love the dots. That's so cute. Okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. And this next seahorse is my absolute favorite. Out of all three that I have, this one is my favorite. I love the color combination. I love the pearlescent on the tail. <gasps> Come back. I just said you were my favorite. Come back. I love the, the fins and stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So that was all of my other creatures. Um, next episode, we will be taking a look 
at the dogs and that will be a longer episode because I just have so many dogs because I am biased to dogs. So yeah, uh, let me know which creature here is your favorite. And thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to stay kawaii.